that was probably the greatest engineer there ever was. Yamahiko pickups. The way we found those is the guy at Yamahiko, he was coming to town, got hooked up with Capital. Hey, can we show you these piano pickups? It had nothing to do with Al and I. They were in Studio B. So the guy was there and he came and he had the pickups on the piano. But Al and I, being Al and I, got bored and wandered into Studio B like, hey, what are you guys doing in here? <laughs> You know, and, and it was kind of like, you should, Al, you should listen to this. Wow, that piano sounds great. What's in the piano? And he went, no, those are the pickups. And he went, what? He was like, the pickups. What are you talking about? So we went out and looked, and they mount under the piano. It's this little system, and, you know, it's this little pickup thing, and it mounts under the soundboard between the bracing and the soundboard. We went back in, played again. Man, and Al turned to the guy and he said, those sound incredible. Those are great. And the guy, being humble Japanese, picked up another pair and just, handed them to Al. <laughs> they were a godsend to us because when we did Live in Rio with Diana Krall, when we did the live Chris Bodie records, anything we did that was live when we went out and had to record a piano, those things saved our butts because they sound so good. You stick them under the piano. We would always put mics in there too, but nine times out of 10, that's what got used. That would be the main sound and we just kind of get the mics in to get a little bit of air around them. But it wasn't unusual for us to use just those. So those were a real secret weapon. <laughs>